Hey guys, and welcome back to the RM Network. It's been a little over a year since I did my last Blu-ray collection video, and uh, that one, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, it took a lot of time. Uh, we split it up into four parts, but it's been about a year. Uh, I've collected a lot more, and I just kind of want to show it off to you guys. I'm going to breeze right through these so it doesn't end up being four parts. We're going to go about two of my shelves at a time. There's about seven shelves and then a little extra. And then uh, afterwards we'll do TV shows and stuff that I've picked up that I haven't put on the shelves yet. Alright, so let's begin. First off, we have 8 Mile, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, 21 Jump Street, still need to pick up 22, 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later, 42 The Jackie Robinson Story, 101 Dalmatians, 127 Hours, 300 and 300 Rise of Empire, 500 Days of Summer, 2001, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and 2010 The Year We Made Contact, Aladdin, the Alien Anthology and Alien Covenant. I still need to get Prometheus, but that is the rest of the Alien movies. The Amazing Spider-Man. American History X. Animal House. Apocalypse Now. Apollo 13. Argo. Still need to open that. I got that a while ago. Arrival, uh, The Avengers, and Age of Ultron, Baby Driver, alright that is it for the first stack, the Back to the Future Trilogy, Bad Boys 1 and 2, Bad Moms, I need to pick up a Bad Moms Christmas but it needs to drop down in price. Batman the movie, the 60s one, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Batman the Killing Joke, and the Lego Batman movie. Whew, a lot of Batman. Beauty and the Beast, the remake. I still need to pick up the original. Beetlejuice. The Belko Experiment. That's a fun movie. Nobody gives us enough credit to that. Big. Big Hero 6. The Big Lebowski. The Big Short. And The Big Sick. So that is essentially my first row. There were some TV shows, which again we will get back to at the very end. Uh, the Shout Factory edition of Bill and Ted's, uh, the collection with Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Underrated Robin Williams, The Birdcage. Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. Black Swan. The Blade Trilogy. Blazing Saddles, Blade Runner, Blair Witch, uh, this digibook of Blomkamp Cubed, it has all three of his movies, District 9, Chappie, and Elysium, The Bourne Legacy, Jason Bourne, I still need to get the original trilogy on Blu-ray, I have it on DVD, Bowfinger, Braveheart, Brawl in Cell Block 99. That is an awesome movie. Bridget Jones Diary. Captain America Civil War. Captain Phillips. Castaway. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Chef. Love that movie. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I don't remember picking that up. Chronicle. 
Citizen Kane, A Clockwork Orange, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Cloverfield and Ten Cloverfield Lane, Collateral, the Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. Terrifying movies. Scary to death. Crazy Stupid Love. And The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Dazed and Confused. Dead Poet Society. Deadpool. Very different from Dead Poet Society. Uh, Dial in for Murder in 3D. Dirty Dancing, the Dirty Harry collection with Dirty Harry and Magnum Force, the Disaster Artist, Django Unchained, Dread in 3D, Ed TV, The Edge of Seventeen. Edge of Tomorrow, or Live, Die, Repeat. Edward Scissorhands. Elf. One of the best Christmas movies. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and the remake of The Evil Dead. I still need to pick up Army of Darkness, and then Ash vs. Evil Dead. Ex Machina. The Exorcist. And the Family Guy Star Wars Trilogy. That is it for the first two rows, and in just a second you will see the next two. Next up we have Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. I don't know why. Don't judge me. Uh, Fargo. Fast and Furious 6, Furious 7, and The Fate of the Furious. <sighs> I still need to get 1 through 5. The Fault in Our Stars. The Fifth Element, cool steelbook, Finding Dory, the Man With No Name trilogy, which includes A Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, three of the best westerns of all time. The Fly, the Jeff Goldblum one from the 80s. For Love of the Game, Forrest Gump, and it's in this cool, like, I think they call this a diamond edition or something, where it kind of pops out. I think that's really cool. I think it's just a cool looking design that they did for that. Frozen. The Fugitive. And Fury. Next up we have Gangs of New York. Get Out. Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, The Laughing Man. I don't know how this fits into the rest of the universe, but... Hey, who cares? Ghostbusters 1 and 2. The Gift. If you haven't seen that, it's on Netflix right now. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. 2014's Godzilla. Gone Baby Gone. Gone Girl. Grand Torino, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Gravity, Green Room, The Gray, Gremlins, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I have the first volume on DVD, need to upgrade that. Halloween. The Hateful Eight, Hell or High Water, Dwayne Johnson's Hercules movie, and Hidden Figures. Let's scoop these out of the way so we can get to the next stack. The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey, and The Battle of the Five Armies. I honestly prefer The Desolation of Smaug over both of those, but I just have it on DVD. Hostels Part 1 and 2, The Imitation Game, The Incredibles, I'm slipped out there, Independence Day, Inglorious Bastards, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 
Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. You will notice there is an absence of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Just putting that out there. Inside Out, Insidious, Insidious Chapter 2, and Insidious Chapter 3. Haven't seen The Last Key. Maybe if I do and enjoy it, I'll get it, but I don't know. Interstellar, Invictus, The Iron Giant, Iron Man 3, The It miniseries, The It recent film, It Follows, Jackie Brown, and the James Bond collection, all 24, I believe, in here. And then the last bit for the second two rows, Jaws. Jingle all the way. John Wick and John Wick Chapter 2. Cannot wait for Chapter 3. The original Jungle Book. Jurassic World. You can see there are some giant gaps in what I have and what I don't. Justice League Doom, Kill Bills Volume 1 and 2, King Kong vs. Godzilla, actually kind of boring, The King's Speech, Kingpin, Kingsman The Secret Service, Krampus, Kubo and the Two Strings, Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu Panda 2, and Kung Fu Panda 3. The Labyrinth was the 30th Anniversary Edition. Nothing special or nothing new about it, but whatever. La La Land. Last Flight Flying, a movie not many people have seen, but it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's one of Linklater's best. The Last Samurai. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I tried watching this once and I fell asleep. A League of Their Own. The Lethal Weapon Collection. I think I got all four of those for 10 bucks on Black Friday. Les Mis. Really enjoy that. Lights Out. And Limitless. Next up we have Spielberg's Lincoln. Fascinating movie. Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship, Two Towers, and Return of the King. These are not the extended editions. I wish I had the extended editions, but I... Then we have Maggie, the old Magnificent Seven, and the newer Magnificent Seven. Mallrats, fantastic, so funny. Man of Steel, The Man from Uncle. Manchester by the Sea, The Martian, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. That is a fantastic movie. Uh, the first four Mission Impossibles, as well as Rogue Nation, Moana, A Monster Calls, a severely underlooked, underlooked overlooked movie when it came out in the uh, back end of 2016. Severely overlooked. Monty Python and the Holy Grail as well as The Life of Brian. Moonlight. Mud. Uh, the original The Mummy, the 19, was this? Do, 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 I'm not ending this out. 30 something maybe? I don't know, somewhere around when Universal was first doing their monster movies. Whatever, it's old, the Boris Karloff one. It's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie, as well as Muppets Most Wanted. I love the Muppets. The Never Ending Story and The Never Ending Story, the next chapter. It's a shame they couldn't get a third one to complete the trilogy, you know. The Nice Guys, absolutely fantastic, love that movie. Night of the Demons. I've never watched this, but it kind of looks like a porno that's trying to be a movie. Nightcrawler. The Nightmare Before Christmas. No Country for Old Men. 
Nocturnal Animals, one hour photo, The Other Guys, maybe the most underlooked Stallone movie of all time, Over the Top, I'm kidding, it's not underlooked, Paranorman, The Paranormal Activity Trilogy, the only three I really care about, The Passion of the Christ, Patriot's Day, the Peanuts movie, as well as a Charlie Brown Christmas. Hopefully, around October-ish, I can get uh, It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Pineapple Express. Pitch Perfect 1 and 2. All five original Planet of the Apes movies, I'm going to rattle off these names. You have Planet of the Apes, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Escape from the Planet of the Apes. What's the next one? Conquest of the Planet of the Apes and Battle for the Planet of the Apes, as well as Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War for the Planet of the Apes. I think they're good there if they stop there. I think I don't need another one. Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Porkies. A triple pack of The Possession, Cabin in the Woods, and Sinister. Project X. Alfred Hitchcock's classic Psycho, Pulp Fiction, The Raid and The Raid 2, fantastic martial arts movies, The Rambo Trilogy, First Blood, First Blood, or it's First Blood, Rambo, First Blood Part 2, and Rambo 3. I do not have just Rambo. Reservoir Dogs, The Revenant, I need to rewatch that, I'm going to do that soon. The Ring, Rise of the Guardians, Rise of the Zombies, Risky Business, Roadhouse. I love Roadhouse. Great movie. Robin Hood Men in Tights, The Rocky Collection, as well as Creed. I cannot wait for Creed 2. It's going to be awesome. The Rookie, Room, not The Room, just Room, Rudy, The Sandlot, and Sausage Party. Saving Mr. Banks, Scarface, very different movie from Saving Mr. Banks, Schindler's List. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. One of my favorite horror movies of all time, Scream. Need to get the other three really soon. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Another triple pack, uh, Seven, Insomnia, and The Devil's Advocate. I have yet to see The Devil's Advocate. I've seen the other two, though. Shaun of the Dead. The Shawshank Redemption. The Shining, Sicario, The Silence of the Lambs, Silver Linings Playbook, Sixteen Candles, Slumdog Millionaire, Smokey and the Bandit, and Snowpiercer. We are coming quickly to the end. All right, we've hit the home stretch for regular Blu-rays. Let's finish this out. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. South Paw. I think my favorite Mill Brooks movie, Spaceballs. Space Jam, only because this steelbook is so cool. Spider-Man Homecoming. Split. An overlooked horror film, Spring. You should check that out. St. Vincent, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, as well as the rebooted Abrams Star Trek, Star Trek in Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. I know he didn't do all three, he just did the first two, but you know, it's a trilogy. The Star Wars prequel trilogy, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. The Star Wars original trilogy, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and let's see if I can 
put this on here. Star Wars The Last Jedi. I love, oh man, I have such a passion for Star Wars that maybe by the next time we see one of these collections, I'll have some of the Clone Wars TV show, hopefully Rebels as well. Uh, Steve Jobs, written and directed by, or written by Aaron Sorkin, directed by Danny Boyle. Fantastic movie, absolutely love it. The Strangers have yet to see Prey at Night. Suicide Squad, sorry you guys. I enjoyed it for what it was. Sully. Superman the movie. Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. And Superman 3 and Superman 4, the quest for peace. Because I felt I needed to complete the series. The first and only taken. This is a movie that I do not feel like I need to complete the series. I just need the first. And Talladega Nights, The Battle of Riggy Bobby. Ooh. Oh, one of the greats. Tango and Cash. I love that movie. Team America World Police. I guess it's the raunchy comedy section because we also have Ted and Ted 2 right next to it. Terminator. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. I will eventually get the other two. They're fine. That Thing You Do. An overlooked movie by my generation. I feel like my parents really enjoyed this movie and I really did too watching it, but nobody really talks about it anymore. Tommy Boy. Top Gun. The Town. I think that was the first steelbook I ever got. Toy Story. Toy Story 2. And Toy Story 3. Some of Pixar's best work. Training Day. T2 Train Spotting. Overlooked sequel. I still I need to pick up the first one, but I've seen it, love it. Trick or Treat. Under the Skin. The Usual Suspects. Up in the Air. Valkyrie. This one I had bought for my mom. I have not yet seen it. Victoria and Abdul. Warrior. Watchmen, the director's cut. Wayne's World and Wayne's World 2. Love them both. Fantastic. We Bought a Zoo. That is a, such a sweet movie. Alright, last stack of just the regular Blu-rays. White Hot American Summer. Why Him? Pretty funny. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The Vich, or Witch, however you like to pronounce it. The Wizard of Oz and Oz the Great and Powerful. People don't talk about Oz the Great and Powerful enough. I think it's underrated. The Wolf of Wall Street. The Woman in Black. Wonder Woman. The Wrestler. X-Men Origins Wolverine. The X-Men Trilogy. The Wolverine, X-Men Days of Future Past, The Road Cut, X-Men Apocalypse, and if I could fit it on here, Logan. The only one I do not have is X-Men First Class. I have that on DVD, have not upgraded to Blu-ray yet, which is a shame because I really love X-Men First Class. XX, um, I thought this was a unique horror film. It's an anthology film, four shorts directed by women. Didn't think it was that good, though. I think if you got gotten some... Better well-known names. You could have done a better job with it, but honestly, just didn't like it. Young Frankenstein, another fantastic Mel Brooks. Zack and Miri make a porno. I think that was the first Kevin Smith movie I've ever seen. Zodiac. Zoolander. And Zootopia. Whew. All right, now we're going to go on to... We'll do TV next. All right, now for TV, and I'm going to get these two out of the way first. Uh, this is season two of Netflix's Daredevil and season one of Jessica Jones from Netflix as well. I don't know why I bought these. I guess I'm a fan, but I have a Netflix account, so these things don't do anything for me, and they don't have any special features. So really, I bought them because I'm a fan. Um, as well, for that reason, I bought, and this is actually pretty cool, the uh, Target exclusive Stranger Things. It comes in like this VHS case. 
I think that's really cool. It has a lot of uh, cool extras on it as well. But, uh -huh. yeah, I don't know why I'm buying Netflix shows. I have a Netflix account, but I guess it's just because I'm a fan. Um, so one I was really excited about that just recently came on Blu-ray for the first time was Avatar The Last Airbender. And when you pick that up, you also got to pick up The Legend of Korra. These are both the complete series of their shows. I love both these shows. They are... It's such an interesting world. such a fascinating one. Um, then we have the 15th anniversary, uh, the entire show of Firefly was abruptly ended, but then made into a finale, it finally got a finale in Serenity. This is Joss Whedon's baby, and I absolutely love Firefly, and I love the packaging they did for this 15th anniversary thing. It comes with a bunch of, like, cool little trinkets and stuff, and I thought that's awesome. Now on to a lot of HBO shows. I do not have an HBO account, so this made it a lot easier to buy them. We have all, I don't even know how to hold these, all seven seasons of Game of Thrones. We have, oh my gosh, it's a mess. It's a mess. The first season. The second season. The third season. The fourth season. The fifth season. The sixth season, the seventh season, and with the seventh season came this Game of Thrones Conquest and Rebellions. About, I don't know, maybe like 45 minutes of like the animated history of Westeros. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have The Newsroom. All three seasons of the show. I love The Newsroom. It's also written by Aaron Sorkin. It's a fantastic show. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. And then one of my prized possessions is the entirety of The Sopranos. This thing went for 200 bucks, and it was on sale at Best Buy for 50 so I just jumped right on that. And that is it for TV. Now we just have the movies that I've recently bought and haven't had time to put into the collection yet. All right, you guys, this is it. This is the final bit right here. So we have A Quiet Place. Absolutely love this movie. You can check out my review for it. Ready Player One. I did not review this. My brother did, but I really enjoyed this. I've watched it three times now, twice in the theater, once on Blu-ray. And every time you just go back and you're watching it and you see so much more, so many more Easter eggs you didn't pick up on the first time, and it's awesome. The Endless. Now, this is an overlooked movie that came out this year. It's from the same uh, guys that did Spring. Fantastic. I don't want to really get into it, but it's kind of... Just go check it out. Go find it and go check it out. The Equalizer. I picked this up uh, probably the day before I saw Equalizer 2 because I needed to watch this one because I hadn't seen it before. This movie is badass. I absolutely love it. Now I picked this one up today. This is the Criterion Collection of Blue is the Warmest Color. Uh, the Criterion sale is still going on at Barnes & Noble and this is only $25. So cut that 50% off. It was $12.50. Totally worth it. I can't wait to watch this. Apparently it is fantastic. Whew. I am almost out of breath. And Moonwalkers. I have no expectations for this movie. I found it in the Dollar Tree, so those are kind of my expectations. But I thought, you know what, for a dollar I'll pick it up. I'll give it a watch. I still need to do that. That is it, you guys. Those are all my Blu-rays, except one. Uh, a buddy of mine is borrowing my Ant-Man Blu-ray, so I did not have that here to show you guys. But just imagine the Ant-Man Blu-ray. You've seen it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, maybe next year I'll do another one of these. We will see. Hopefully I have a lot more next year. Uh -huh. Thank you. What, do I, what am I doing right now? Thank you guys. I'm thanking you for so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video. Comment. What are some of your favorite movies of all time? You're some of your favorite Blu-rays that you own. Uh, leave all that in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And when you do so... Hit that little bell icon. It'll notify you when new videos of ours come up. I think that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.